okay in this video we will talk about how we can install splunk in docker okay so we will initially set up the single instance splunk maybe in in later videos we will try to set up the splunk cluster as well in docker as well okay we'll try to run the whole splunk uh, cluster as a docker container so so for that what what we need to do initially is in in uh, docker hub you you can you can search for the splunk docker image okay so this will give you this 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 guy over here so this is maintained by splunk as well as you can see it over here now couple of things we need to see it first in terms of prerequisite is this particular image has been supported only in linux based system okay so currently it is not supported in windows based system so as you remember from my initial video on docker so there is a relationship between a docker image and the host operating system right so so that's why maybe in 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 lot of cases not not maybe even even it, it is actually true that docker images are dependent on the architecture of the host operating system so so that's why the current current splunk docker image is actually supported in linux based system only so today we'll see how to install it in centos okay now for that what we'll do first is we will go to docker documentation now installing docker we have seen already in how to install docker in windows right so installing docker in linux based system is really easy so if i if you just go to this particular link this one i'll give my in my video description as well so here you will get lot of option for different linux based system right so as we are doing it for the centos i'll just click it over here now currently the docker supported centos version is centos 7 so first what we'll do is in our google cloud we will first provision a centos 7 instance then tr we'll try to install docker over there okay so for that i will head to google cloud now in my splunk admin videos i extensively used google cloud over there so maybe you can you can have a check it out over there how how you can install splunk over there but as we are doing it separately so i will just create the instance from the beginning itself and then we will try to see it so for to create an instance what you need to do is you need to go come over here and go to compute engine then vm instance you will come up to this page then you to click on create over here you need to give a meaningful name to this instance so i'll just give instance one only as i am doing a demo over here okay now for splunk it is recommended that you take at least 15 gb of memory so i'll just that's why i'm choosing this four virtual cpu and 15 gb memory over here now the boot disk will have to be centos and this needs to be centos 7 okay and this size you can give 20 gb over here click on select okay and you can allow http and https traffic so that we can test it out if after installing splunk as a container over there or after running splunk as a container over there okay so we'll, we'll click on create so we'll wait for certain amount of time to to make this instance available then we will try to install docker first over there then we will try to run splunk as a container over there okay okay our instance has been created over here as you can see so we will ssh to this instance first you can use any kind of ssh tool like our putty and other other tools as well so this is like convenient so that's why i'm using it but it takes certain amount of time to transfer the ssh keys okay we logged into our instance we will first sudo to root okay then then what we'll do is we will follow the instruction given in docker documentation so we'll come over here We'll go over here so if you have any early earliest version of docker like docker engine or docker so you need to remove them by using by using this particular command over here as we are starting from fresh so we don't need to do we need to no need to follow this this step over here okay we will directly go to over here install using repository now there are there are two two ways you can install it either you can set up a docker's repository 
and then install from them or you can download the rpm package and install it manually over there okay so even even in testing or and development environment you can use some automated convenient script to install docker as well but this one is the recommended approach that's why i'm following it up so that means they install using the repository so the first thing is you need to download this one yum utils so i'll just come over here i'll run this one okay so once it is done we'll head over here now you need to basically use this config manager to create a create a repo over here so i'll just run this one I'll clear the screen then run it okay okay repo has been saved so then we will go back over here now this are these these are the optional step where you basically enable the nightly or test repositories so as we are not as as we will not be doing any any of this over here so we will not we will not run this one here so we'll directly go to install docker engine over here so we will run this particular command sudo sudo yam install docker ce docker ce cli docker ce means docker for centos docker ce cli and container d.io so we'll run it from here okay it will ask you for to select yes and no couple of times so do that one okay so it is it is completed now so we successfully installed docker over here to check it out whether we have installed cup properly or not so you can do couple of stuff over here you can basic okay now here is one another thing which we don't need to do over here now because over here we have installed the latest version of docker if you want to install the uh, a corresponding version of the docker over here you need to follow these steps so basically you need to list the docker version numbers over here then you will install something like this one docker c the version number docker c cli the version number then container container d.io over here okay now after we install the docker we need to start the docker over here so we'll run this particular command over here we will clear the screen then run it okay our docker has been started to check it out whether it is properly or not just like we did it for our windows based docker installation we will just try to run this hello world docker image okay so if if it is successful then uh, it will it, it should show you something like this one hello from docker over here okay it, this message shows that your installation appears to be working correctly over here and if you see it like it was not able to find the image locally that's why it is downloaded from from the docker hub and then it run ran that container over here now after we installed docker successfully and tested out whether our installation is completed or not successfully then it is time we can head over to this guy over here right so this splunk docker hub so here we will get the necessary instruction on how we can run splunk as a container okay inside a docker container now they have they have a very good documentation as well okay which i have opened it over here so it is it is properly documented as well so what you need to do there are there are two versions of, of splunk they support one is the splunk enterprise if you see it over here and it will give you always give you the latest version of splunk and splunk universal for order as well okay so today what we'll do is we will install the splunk interface first okay in next video maybe we will try to see how we can in install universal for order and then then send events to another container which have which is having a splunk enterprise okay so this is the splunk to install splunk enterprise you need to run this particular command over here docker pull the 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 latest version of the splunk enterprise from the docker hub okay so let us run that one over here so we'll clear the screen okay so we will say so docker pull splunk latest 
So it is basically pulling the latest version of the Splunk from Docker Hub. Let it let it complete. Okay, so it, it downloaded that latest image from from Docker Hub to our to, to our local over here. Now, as we did previously, we will use the Docker run command to do that one, right? So this is the command if you see it over here, and we have seen this before, right? So first thing is that we need to you need to map the port over here from your local to the container port. So this eight thousand is the port which is basically exposed in container that means the container is listening to this port and this 8000 is basically we will send our request to to access the splunk over here right now couple of things like you can pass the this these two arguments over here as well one is the splunk password that means the admin user password over here and you need to basically accept the license over there okay and then you will basically use this particular image you downloaded we, we just downloaded from our local over here so i just saved the same thing over here as well okay so what i change is that i have given some password over here but you need to give if you are using in proper production purpose you need to give the corresponding password here on the, um, the complicated password over here okay so as i am demoing it so i am just giving a simple password over here now I'll go over here and I will clear the screen first and I will run this particular command over here. Okay, so let it run. Now, once it is completed, you should be getting something like this one. Ansible playbook completed will begin streaming streaming to this, this log over here. Okay, so this means the installation completed. Now, if I want to access the Splunk, so that means our Splunk is running in a container now, which is basically listening on port 8000. And also we mapped our server port 8000 to that container port 8000 as well, right? So we can send a request something like this one, HTTPS, HTTPS colon slash slash. So as it is a Google Cloud instance, right? So we need to give the external IP over here, right? As we did in, in our Splunk admin videos as well. So this one, colon, this is the 8000 port, which we'll be sending the request to, to access the Splunk, right? So this, this will send a request to the container port 8000 over there. Okay, it, it will be, it will be HTTP. So if we, if we just go to this particular if this give if we just give this particular URL and try to access Splunk over here, so it should bring up the Splunk from the container over here. And if you see it, it is running. We did not install this. We we just taken a fresh instance. We did not install Splunk locally over there, right? We just in, we just ran Splunk in a container. Now it is coming live. So same way, we have given a password for the admin user as test one two three four right so this is the this is the stuff we have given it over here so that is what i am giving it over here and if you just click on sign in we are done right so what what we what we did it over here we just ran splunk in a container maybe eventually we will try to see if we can run splunk or basically the splunk cluster in a container as well okay cool stuff see you in next video